Hey Taurus, welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be a collective reading to see what's going on with you and your person, the person that you're connecting with, the person in your energy currently. This, if you're returning to my channel, welcome back. I appreciate your support of me. It helps me grow. It helps me to get these messages out to as many of you as possible. So it's important that if this reading resonates, you let me know by liking, sharing, commenting, or subscribing. I appreciate you guys. If you are here for the first time, welcome as well. Perhaps you are led here because there are messages for you from spirit. If it resonates, please do the same. <laughs> Thank you in advance. Cross watchers, you are welcome and the roles may be reversed. Please feel free to flip the messages as needed if necessary. Okay. Never force a reading. If this is your reading, these messages will be fluid. Never force it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull your current energy. I'm going to pull your person's current energy. I'm going to pull your cards, your challenges at the bottom of the deck. Please stay for the entire reading. I will also be pulling advice cards and oracle messages. Okay. Um, if this reading resonates, subscribe so that you'll know. In the near future, I will be making an announcement. And I will be offering extended readings as well as personal one-to-one -one readings. I may be new to the YouTube tarot community, but I have over a decade of tarot reading experience for one-to-one -one personal readings. Okay. So, <laughs> enough of that. The floor is yours. Spirit, please show me Taurus. Please show me the messages that you have for Taurus. What messages do you have for Taurus? This is extra special because I'm doing this reading tonight. Is it, and I believe that there's a full moon tonight. I believe that it's tonight. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Please show me the messages for Taurus, please. Show me Taurus. I know we have a full moon coming. I don't really focus too much on it, but I love full moon energy. It actually literally makes me feel full. Um, it makes me feel full of manifestation. You know, I clear my space so that I can manifest all this wonderful good stuff, get rid of bad energy, enter in and, you know, welcome in new energy so that I'm able to continue to vibrate, vibrate high. Okay. I hope that you guys are able to do the same. What is Taurus's current energy, please? Your current energy is a six of cups reverse. Spirit, please show me Taurus's person's current energy. Their energy is a two of cups. That's interesting. That makes me wonder what's going on here. So let's get into it. Okay, those are the challenges. It's supposed to be at the bottom of the deck. I don't have that much space. Okay, your current energy is the Six of Cups reverse. I feel the energy of letting go of the past. There's been some emotional hurt, perhaps, and you decided it was time for you to move forward from it. Um, it doesn't mean move forward from leaving. It doesn't mean that you're leaving this connection. It just means you want to release any emotional baggage, anything that caused you pain. It's maturity, you know, choosing to let go you're growing up okay there may be something in, from the past childhood trauma childhood issues and you decided that you need to let the bad memories go that's the energy that i'm getting okay your person's energy is a two of cups okay i'm getting someone who has relationship on their mind a partnership okay i'm hearing compatibility just happiness even a potential soulmate is in their energy, okay? So in the past, I got the Five of Cups reversed and the King of Wands, all right? Someone really made a decision to to get, get a connection and control, to be bold and fearless about it with this King of Wands, feeling really confident about their decision. And with the Five of Cups reverse, I'm getting, you know, healing, deciding to move forward, forgiving, releasing emotional baggage with no regrets. 
Okay, and your energy is still there with the Six of Cups reverse, letting go of all the past and bad memories. In the current position, I got the judgment and the ace of swords reversed. I'm getting um, Libra energy. I feel like there was some sort of reconciliation in the current position. Okay? And the six of cups reversed is showing me that. Like, I'm going to let go of bad memories. And I'm going to approach just maturely. And I'm going to let go of the emotional hurt. So, I'm getting the feeling off the top that there was some challenges in the past with this relationship and you guys needed to release emotional baggage with this five of cups reverse and heal from it okay and be protective of this connection however i got this ace of swords reverse here and it's showing me some conflicts again okay some sort of challenge but i got the two of cups as your person so your person feels like this is a potential soulmate connection there's a lot of love here in spite of the challenges spirit please clarify this ace of swords reverse Yep, there is some challenges here. There's some conflicts. Um, someone is feeling a little confused. Not about the love that they have for you, but about the connection because of the conflicts. They're, I feel like with this Four of Wands reverse, this is clarifying this Ace of Swords reverse. I'm getting, again, domestic disharmony. Like, there's a there's conflict here. So, this part, your person is craving for the partnership that you guys had. They want that. They want to be with you. There's no question. Again, they feel like you're, you're their potential soulmate. They just want balance. With this temperament, this is also a card of peace and balance. Okay? They want this to get back into harmony. Okay? So it's like you made the decision to move forward. And you feel confident about it. But then once you guys, you know, work on it. Sometimes when you're working on a connection and there's conflict. They, you got to get through that conflict before you can get to the peace. You can't just tuck it away. So I feel like you guys are there. You're trying to work through your conflict, family conflict. Um, anything that's causing the balance in this connection, you're trying to work on it so you can bring balance back into the connection. So you guys are working on it. I'm getting self-evaluation, you know, looking at yourself and seeing what it is that you're doing. What is it that you're bringing to this connection? What is it you're not bringing? You know, trying to forgive each other and just trying to make it work. In the future, I got the moon and I got the ten of cups. Um, Pisces energy. Why is this moon here, Spirit? Please show me why this moon is here. Please clarify. To clarify the moon, I got the Knight of Wands reverse and the Eight of Wands. Someone in this connection is not showing up all the way. I feel like it's it may be your energy, Taurus, only because you're in Six of Cups reverse energy. And you're trying to let go of past trauma. So because of that, I'm getting like some sort of insecurities here. Okay, I'm getting like given up. Being fearful in the near future. But then the eight, the eight of Wands is here. Okay, so there's like a decision that needs to be made quickly to turn this around. I'm getting wishy-washy and your person doesn't want that. They want this two of cups. They want it. That's their current energy. And here it is. You have these challenges and you're repressing emotions still. You're not completely transparent because of fears. Okay? So there are things that you haven't really clarified with your partner. And it's coming off as to your partner as not being reliable in the near future. Like feeling like they can't count on you. But this may even be your own, your own fear. Okay, but it's coming off as wishy-washy, like you're giving up on the connection. So there's a need for you to move fast, okay? Because some sort of quick communication is going to come. Something exciting is going to happen, and it's going to happen really fast. And I see this Ten of Cups in the future as well, okay? Which is complete happiness. So some action needs to take place quickly. Spirit, please clarify this Eight of Wands. Some sort of message comes in with this page of swords. But there's a positive change too. Okay? Some sort of communication is coming in. Something. 
It's something exciting. I feel like you, you, you're very aware of what this is, Taurus, because it's something that you've been expecting, you've been like looking into, okay, you might have been making phone calls, texting, emails, but it's something that you're aware of and it's gonna come in, there's gonna be some excitement coming in, in connection to this. Okay, and also with the Five of Pentacles reverse, I'm getting it's a positive change. Something that's going to help with recovery, I'm getting financially. Okay, like finances are going to improve. That's what I'm getting. That's what that's connected to. But there's a Ten of Cups here too. So you have these fears and you have these challenges and you're feeling like giving up because you're push, trying to push through your challenges. However, don't give up because you have this Ten of Cups here. It's complete happiness with your person. Okay, um, but you don't see that coming because all you see right now is the challenges. But you, there's a need for you to be more transparent. If you're more transparent with your partner, you can release this anxiety and these fears, and then you you will you will come to your fulfillment. You will get your fulfillment with your partner. Your fulfillment is in being transparent with your partner. That's how you get to your ten of cups. Your challenges at the bottom of the deck is the Empress reverse. And the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Again, you might be connecting with a Libra. I'm also getting Sagittarius energy with the temperaments. But again, if this is if these messages are fluid, then this is for you. So please pay attention. I'm just telling you about what energies I'm feeling. Um, but with the Empress reverse and the Ten of Pentacles reverse as your challenges, there's a need for you to work on your confidence. And I said that. You know, I feel these insecurities strongly. And also, there's a need for you to work more on your, more on your um, independence because there's like a co-dependency going on with this connection. And it's all because of this lack of confidence that you have, which causes you to neglect your person, okay? It causes the disharmony in this connection, okay? And with this Ten of Pentacles reverse, there have been some financial challenges. Um, I'm getting like feeling burdened by it. Even in your relationship, there's, there might have been some financial issues um, that might, might have been a part of this this breakdown in the past. And your challenge is to focus on coming out of that, coming out of financial disaster. Work on what, you, what it is you need to work on. Don't let it just pile up. Come up with a payment plan. Come up with a plan of how to make extra money. Um, look at your offers and your options. Because again, there is something coming in. I see it, and then and if in the near future, there's going to be some opportunity. So look for it. There's going to be some something that's going to come in quick and out of nowhere, okay? But at the same time, it's something that you've been communicating about, and you've been speaking about, and you've been looking into, you know, whether on a, you know on the internet or whatever. It's something that you're interested in, but it's going to come in and it's going to help you know bring you recovery financially. So this is really beautiful, okay? Um, and once you feel stable financially. That'll also contribute to you feeling better about yourself and feeling better about this connection, okay? So, um, Spirit, please show me Taurus's... What's, what, what caused the breakdown in this connection with Taurus and their person? What happened in the past that they had to recover from? Leo Energy. Um, I got the Strength, the Queen of Cups reversed, and the Four of Cups reversed. Um, with all the cups, I'm getting like a lot of water energy. It could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Um, you were just feeling like, again, I'm getting insecurities. Just emotionally immature. Again, this is connected to trauma from the past. It could be childhood trauma. Um, it could be past relationships. But, you know, someone in your past was very manipulative, very spiteful. I'm, I'm getting more than anything that this, with this Queen of Cups that there was a feminine energy that was that that created your lack of trust because this person was needy and had lack of trust. So they were they're very spiteful, very disloyal, but very manipulative. This person caused a lot of issues for you. Okay, um, your intuition was telling you to let this person go, and you didn't let this person go. So it caused so much um, emotional trauma on you in the past. But you found your strength to recover from this and you let go. With the 12 cups reverse, you got clarity, you chose happiness, and you let go of this. You moved forward and here you are with this new person. This person that you're with now. I'm sorry, forgive me, I'm saying it wrong. This was the person. Your person in the past, there was a lot of um, issues in this connection. 
okay? With this Queen of Cups reversed, I get that your person might have been the same way. Um, I don't know why I'm picking up two energies, though. I feel like you might have... I feel like this is some... I cannot deny what I feel, guys. And I strongly feel like someone from your past caused a breakdown in your connection. And it caused insecurities with this new person. Because with this Two of Cups person, I'm not getting that same energy that I'm getting from this Queen of Cups reverse. It's like complete opposites. Like, I'm not feeling the energy in no way that the two are connected. I'm feeling two different people here. Okay? But you had to release the emotional baggage of a past relationship in order to move to be able to move forward um, emotionally in your past, in your relationship with the person you're with now. Okay? So you decided to be fearless and optimistic and, you know, you decided to let it go. You know, you made peace with the past and you tried to let it go, but you're still recovering. There's the co recovery is a process. It doesn't happen overnight. And that's why this Six of Cups reverse is your current energy. You're still trying, you know, you're letting go. You're trying to let go of the emotional hurt. This person did a number on you, by the way. This, this Queen of Cups reverse, they did a number on you. All right. So, Spirit, please show me Pisces. I mean, you might have been connected with a Pisces. <laughs> Please show me Taurus. That, you know, there's no mistakes. There's no such thing as coincidences either. <laughs> Spirit, please show me um, Taurus's person's feelings about them. What is Taurus's person's feelings about them? What is their feelings about them? Okay. Okay. I got the Emperor, the King of Cups, Reverse, and the Star. Um, I'm getting... Um, Aquarius energy, I'm getting Aries energy. Your person recognizes the issues that you brought to them, okay? There's no denying that, okay? They feel like you was excessively controlling and, and just inflexible, not willing to compromise with them. And they feel that you were very emotionally immature. With this King of Cups reversed, and I got the Queen of Cups reversed for your person in the past. Might have been a divine connection, it sounds like, but it was toxic. You both had the same thing. You were mirroring the same energy. Emotional immaturity, both of you. Both of you were mirroring each other. Both of you had repressed feelings. And it was just a, a manipulative situation. If there was no love in this connection with this person from the past. With this King of Cups and this Queen of Cups. It was smothering. It was toxic. It was unkind, uncaring, repressed emotions. Trying to control the other person. Just real scandalous. It's like two people together that were very, they were trauma bonding and they were very emotionally immature, you know, and it, it was just it's trauma, trauma bonding. So your person sees that you went through this and they see that in you and they see that it allowed, it caused you to be very inflexible in this connection. Okay. Um, for some of you, you know, um, this person may see that your father was absent in your life and that caused you to have certain issues that in this connection with this person and please understand queen of cups king of cups um feminine masculine it could be for anyone everyone has feminine and masculine energies so just receive the messages and don't focus on that if you are okay so i get like you know you they, they feel that you're very you're not willing to compromise there's a stubbornness because you're trying to protect yourself and they get that you know they they recognize the emotionally immature issues that they've had with you but they have hope they chose hope they chose healing they're very optimistic about you guys moving forward okay they're trying to manifest this for you they're many they're literally your person is manifesting you there's a lot of hope and faith in this connection so that's why i got the two of cups as their current energy they feel that you're their potential soulmate they they want a partnership with you they want a lifetime with you this person wants to be married to you and this is how they view you. They're like, I recognize all the, you know, the, the challenges that, you know, my Taurus comes with and what we've been through and the hell we've been through because of what they've been through in the past. But now it's time for us to heal together. I'm manifesting healing with them and I feel, they, I feel really good about it. That's what your person is thinking. So, Spirit, please show me Taurus's current feelings for their person, please. Please show me that. Wow. Wow. You recognize you have challenges, but I have the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups reverse. Pentacles, I'm getting a lot of Earth energy. Um, Taurus, that could be your energy, or perhaps you're connecting with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But what I'm getting here is that you feel like, about your person, you feel good about this new opportunity for you guys. You're committed to this person. You feel like 
this is a solid offer. This is this is abundance and stability with my person. I feel most stable and safe with my person. With this Knight of Pentacles, I'm feeling like loyalty again stability and you feel protective of this connection you realize that you're stubborn though <laughs> and there's a need for you to complete what you start okay um and um but you're willing to put in the work for this connection and you recognize with this page of cups reverse you recognize the emotional immaturity you know that there's insecurities with you and sometimes you can be selfish and childish you do get that but you also say, you know what, but I'm going to make things right with this person. I'm committed to making this work. I want nothing but abundance and stability with this person. And I'm going to work on it. I want them, I want to be someone that they can count on too. You know, that they feel that I'm also too, you know, reliable. And, you know, I want them to feel my loyalty. I don't want to be stubborn. I want to be patient. I want to see things through. That's what I'm getting from you as far as your feelings, Taurus. So, Spirit, please show me um, advice for Taurus, please. One, three cards. I got the Sun reversed, the Nine of Cups reversed, and the Seven of Swords, guys. And the Sun is Leo energy. Um, the advice that I have for you is to... You have to let go of anything deceptive. Any deceptive energy, anything that's not being done openly to your person, anything that you feel like you need to keep from them, it comes off as betrayal when you keep things from your person, okay? So there's a need for you to be more transparent with your person and get out of the seven of swords energy, okay? That's the, that's one thing, to be honest with your person, to be strategic, but, you know, show up for them the way they show up for you. Be Honesty is a really big thing with your person, so... There's a need for you to be transparent. Okay? Even with this moon, there's like repressed emotions. It comes off as deceptive. Because your person's wearing their emotions on their sleeves and they're being transparent and here you are still closed off. So there's a need for you to let go of that kind of energy. Also, if there's not a cusp reverse, there's a need for you to work on your self-esteem. Okay? The immaturity, the selfishness. Okay? Overindulging. And being emotionally draining to your partner, bringing any happiness into this connection, there's a need for you to let go of those things, right? Um, with the sun reversing, getting unhappiness again. So there's a need for you to avoid a breakup with this person. Don't let your ego come in and take control, okay? Don't be petty with your person. It's going to cause unhappiness. So please let go of any ego issues, all right? Right now, your current energy is a six of cups reverse. That's letting go of the past, emotional hurt, being, you know, approaching it maturely, letting go of childhood issues as well. And this, there's a need for you to let go of all these toxic behaviors. And that's what Spirit wants you to know. Like, these are the things that you need to let go of. You need to avoid breaking up with your person. You need to allow yourself to be vulnerable and honest and committed to your person. Okay? That's the advice that I have for you, Taurus. Okay? But again, this stems for, you know, the number that someone in the past did on you. And it made it hard for you to trust. I feel like this, like this is probably one of the most mature relationships that you ever had. So it's a little challenging for you. And but there are things you gotta let go of because if you bring those bricks that you carry into a new home, then where are you guys gonna live? It's gonna be a house full of heavy ass bricks taking up all the space. And you don't need that. You need to let that baggage go and move into your new home. And this is what I'm saying spiritually: move into your new home um, with a clean slate. Okay, so there's a need for you to clear your house. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull some Romance Angel cards. Your person really loves you. Two of Cups, it's like they see you as a soulmate. There's so much love. You guys have been through a lot, but your person is just like, I really love Taurus, and I know what Taurus has been through. They look, they recognize that you've been through a lot and they just want you to feel the love that they're trying to give you and that they've been giving you. They want you to see the love and choose the love and let go of anything that is hurtful to you. Okay? So Spirit, please show me the messages I need to see. You guys just reconciliated and this this can work. It's just it's all about letting go of this baggage. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Your person may have a child or children, or you may have a child or children or children or child together. 
and that's what keeps you guys together too. That's a, that is a permanent bond. And you know, you guys want to get things right for the sake of yourselves and the children. That could be the thing that could be affecting, um, your partnership. For some of you, I'm getting a downloaded message, very specific message that you may have a child or children with this toxic person in the past. And this is another reason why there's still this energy in you because you still got to deal with this person to a certain extent. And that could be the thing that's causing problems. I'm feeling that really, really heavy that uh, for some of you that there's, you have a, you have a child or children with this person, this toxic person that you were trauma bonding with in the past. Okay. Um, past life relationship, you have known each other before. Okay. So that you and your person, you have, you've been in a past life together and you were meant for each other. There's destiny and this is a divine partnership. You don't you don't end up in just one divine partnership, but you don't always end up with the person you're supposed to be with, okay? But I feel like with this person that you're with now, you guys, like, it's like you've known each other before. I forget the energy of when you got together. It was like you felt like you knew each other for a long time and you connected instantly and things started to move really fast, okay? Um, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, informations, and visualizations help bring you together. And you guys just reconciliated. You just reconciliate it. So this is the, the, the divine letting you know that they're all for this partnership. They support this partnership. You manifested this as well with this star in your energy. You're like, I want, I'm manifesting healing from this person. This is my divine partner. This is beautiful. Wow, this is so beautiful. There's so much love here. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. You know what? I don't even have to pull another card. This person is your soulmate. This is them. This is it. You guys have been knowing each other in another lifetime. Okay? And I feel strongly that there's child and children involved. And it's, it's having you connected with someone that, that brings out the worst in you. But there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of healing. There's connection. And you guys are going to have your ten of cups. Okay? This is so beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some love oracle messages. And I'm going to close out this read for you, Taurus. I love this for you. I love that you're able to, to get this beautiful love from this person, you know? This is a beautiful thing. Okay? So what messages do we have for Taurus before we close out this read, please? Show me messages for Taurus. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. And I told you that. There's some good news coming in, and it's coming in fast with that Eight of Wands. So you don't have to understand why things happen, but there's always a purpose, okay? Everything, everything that you've been through. Don't even regret the stuff in the past because it's teaching you a lot about yourself in order to move forward. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. So don't choose to be logical all the time. Allow yourself to feel and connect with your emotions, okay? That's where the answers are. Allow yourself to be transparent, emotionally transparent. Romance, Cupid arrow, Cupid's arrow strikes. This is love, guys. This is love. This person, through all the ups and downs, with everything that was going on in your past, and for them to still, they just want to love you through it, this is it. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Everything that you need to get through this and to get stronger and to feel stronger and to be successful in your relationship is already here. All the love that you need is already there. It's already here. This is so beautiful for you, Taurus. I love this for you. So if this reading resonated with you, please let me know by, again, by liking, um, liking commenting, subscribing, or anything. <laughs> um, I wish you continued healing, Taurus, and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.